I didn't bring my uh, my computer charger in here with me, so I may have to go and get it. <laughs> so we're we're on we're on limited time here. <laughs> well, yeah, well, not. I mean, I can go get it while we. I didn't bring my yeah, well, iPad charger, but that's not as important. Yeah, my the, this computer, like you keep it off the charger, and it's like a hundred to zero in like a good two hours. Yeah, not even two hours. It's like a good forty five minutes. Now, I feel like this is, like, the perfect week to start doing this because I was gone in Atlantic City for, like, three days. And I, I like, traditionally, I, I feel like we talk, like, every single day. And, like, we didn't talk for, like, three days. I was just like, what's Casey been up to? Yeah, not <laughs> much, man. Doing? Same old, same old. You know, the Battle Pass came out for Apex, so I've just been grinding that out. Yeah, explain that to me. Do you, what's, what's, what do you benefit from, from getting it? If you, do you, did you ever buy the battle passes for like Fortnite or anything? No, it's the same. not really. It's the same exact thing. You just get a, uh, you rank up and get different like uh like uh, cosmetic pieces and um, just like, bat like banners for your uh mm -hmm. characters and skins and stuff. How many how many W's do you have so far? Uh, probably like, like seven or eight. Mm -hmm. I'm not in double digits yet. Cause I suck, but <laughs> I'm getting there, man. I'm getting better. Still sitting in that fat zero for me. I, everybody that joins my games are always better than me. I mean, that's what you want. <laughs> you yeah. want everyone to the to carry you. You don't want yeah, to be the carrier. Well, I, I want to be the carrier, but oh. I get carried most of the time. You know, that's it's just, just inevitable. It seems like too much pressure. Rogar, what, what about you? Have you how many wins do you have, or do you suck too? Rogar is actually good. Nice. He like doesn't even play it all that much, but every time he joins me, he just does better than me. <laughs> it's no fair, bro. You know, you know, it just happens. You know, some people just comes natural. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If, it really if, does. If I was good at, if you could say that I was good at a game, which game would it be? What am I good at? Um, do it, does, does it even exist? Um, there was a game that you were like you were smoking this at. Yeah, um, but when it takes us this long to think about it, game? it's like few and far what between. What was that game though? I I can I can Hell. get all right and steep. Hey, it's the break that does it. It really is, Rogar. It, it is the break that does. It. I have to give myself a break. <laughs> and steep, steep is the game. I, I yeah. you do well in steep. You do well with the games where uh, where it's points based, mm -hmm. where like you can you you can spend time to beat the points. So anything Steep that you like, your game, though. anything you have to like obsessively just keep trying over and over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I didn't tell you. So we're looking on Tuesday. We're looking at two different houses that are like literally a block away from your work. From my work. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So cool. Even closer. Is it like right there next to the school? Yeah, Chestnut, I believe. Chestnut Street. Okay. Yeah. Fuck if I know where that is, but <laughs> well, it's I right. probably walked probably walked up and down it like fourteen times. Probably, but... probably. I'm not in the state of mind when I'm walking around. To... <laughs> this is like fucking try, try to spinning. try to speak to somebody and they just tell you to fuck yourself. <laughs> Everything's spinning around. Like I have so much anxiety when I'm walking around. I'm like, please don't look at me. Please don't talk to me. And then when I try to talk to someone, they're like, dude, what the fuck is this person talking to me for? Yeah. Like, Okay, that, okay. That's like when I was in Atlantic City, dude. Like this, this bum walked up to me, and like, he he didn't look like he meant any harm, but like immediately my thought is just like I'm just sitting here alone eating my Starbucks sandwich, and like this guy could stab me. Like who's to say <laughs> this guy's not gonna stab me? <laughs> he didn't, uh. And like you know, I believed him. He was going on about like you know, he's like I don't do drugs, I don't do alcohol. He's like I'm just trying to get a meal at McDonald's, and like. Talk about how his eyes all fucked up and his legs all fucked up, but he's also a veteran and like he's trying to get into housing, but they're all filled up right now. And like he went on this whole story the entire time. I'm thinking like, I don't have cash. I don't have cash. Please stop talking to me, man. I don't have cash, and you make me feel worse and worse as the more you talk. <laughs> <laughs> Corey's Corey's a uh, regretful situation with the which, man that needed. Which money. is why I started thinking though, why don't 
homeless people carry around card readers. Like that should be a thing that the government supplies them. Could, well, yeah. <laughs> you think they can afford that shit? They just a homeless dude pulls out his iPhone with like a card reader on yeah. top. He's like, just swipe, just swipe it here in my four square. Just swipe it here, but like, but like, so so he's he's talking about how he's a veteran and he's trying to get into housing and everything. It's like, man, the government can't give you housing because they're all filled up. But what they can give you is a card reader. Because if you had a card reader, I'd throw you five dollars, like for sure, dude. I'd swipe that fucker right away. You like you pull you pull out your like credit card. He's like, actually, we don't take uh we don't take uh Capital One. We only take, <laughs> we only we only take Mastercard and Visa, sir. So, Sorry. Ooh, is that an Amex? Yikes! Uh, <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Yikes. Yeah, I, mean, I can't do that. Actually, it's gonna charge me more to uh, get the money than it is. You know, <laughs> it turns yeah. turns it into a business. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's dangerous. Uh, he'd, he'd be like waiting for people in line like i'm standing in starbucks with my card in my hand and he just walks over with his swiper and just like swipes it just just puts it onto my card and swipes the reader itself <laughs> just starts jacking money from people brilliant. oh that that would be great it's brilliant i think i'm gonna start doing that that's my <laughs> next goal that's my next life goal just actually. walking around yeah. with a card reader and swiping people's cards yeah like, just like just asking them be like hey can i have some money they'd be like oh, i don't have any i don't have any cash be like well I have this <laughs> accidentally like bumping into them and then they drop their card like oh i got that for you you grab it swipe I mean, it real quick they hand it back <laughs> Like, hey, what'd you just do with that? I'd be like, nothing. Don't worry about it. It's like pickpocketing and for, for the millennial. <laughs> Times are changing, man. Times are changing. <sighs> yeah, I've just been just been playing Apex. Not really. I I, I really want to try uh, that. Rogar's been playing that Sekiro game, and I'd really like to try oh, that. Dude. But... Like, it's got like a 9.5 on IGN. What's the... Let me look up what the Metacritic on that is right now. It's getting amazing reviews. Yeah, I mean, From Software does make some fucking great games. I played, I played the shit out of Bloodborne, and I just can't pay sixty dollars for those fucking games. Yeah, I've paid sixty dollars for. I feel like every time I pay sixty dollars for a game, I get burned. This guy I follow on IGN, um, he on Twitter, he was just like talking about how fun it was. He's like, I'm having a great time with the game. He's like, it's, it's just really challenging, but I'm still having fun. And then like maybe 24 hours later he just tweet he just tweet he tweets out uh i got to the part where it stops being fun <laughs> yeah uh, it was like rogar we were to rogar was just like yeah yeah i'm gonna give it a break i'm gonna have a good break he came into apex they went back to it he was just like mother fuck <laughs> he was like fighting a boss i was like i i, I can feel your pain bro i can feel your pain yeah, oh, yeah what I is this like, I, I would love to fucking play it but yeah. Wait, from software is usually good. I'm putting that shit on their other uh, games on sale. Yeah, yeah, I think they definitely will. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, sitting at a ninety on Metacritic right now. Ninety, damn, That's hella good. But yeah, yeah, I've really been playing much, doing that. What are you uh, What are you reading right now? I am reading uh, Inherent Vice uh that was a movie right yeah i think it came on like what 20 2015 probably something like that it was re fairly recent yeah i had joaquin phoenix in it let me look it up um i have never seen the movie i just i'm just now reading the book yeah t uh, january 9th 2015 why do i remember 2015 I don't know, so dude. well <laughs> it was a what vivid vivid wrong? year for you <laughs> Wait, hold on. IMDb says 2014. What the fuck is this shit? How does the same the same exact Google search result give me two different dates? Maybe it was like a limited theaters release, and then a, yeah, so limited theaters October 4th, 2014, and then release date January 9th. So it must be widespread after that. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I, I did want to see this. I never did. Of course, Owen Wilson would play Coy Harlingen. <laughs> That's all I have to say about it. What's the if you, if, What's the book about? It's just like it's about uh like a a PI kind of like a hippie PI. He just is like baked all the time doing drugs, but he's like his ex girlfriend comes to him to like ask him to investigate the like her missing kind of like boyfriend or whatever. He's like a rich dude. He's like a really wealthy man, and uh, it's pretty much him going around trying to figure out what's what's ha happened to this guy, and he like he just gets it just gets so i don't know like you know 
detail i guess i guess like it goes in so many different directions and it's all connected and he's like realizing how it's all connected with each other and like it's pretty cool man but there's this character in it his name's koi harlingen and he's like he's in a was in a surf uh, like a surf rock band mm -hmm. that he played a, a like a jazz a jazz saxophone in it and uh but he didn't really like the lifestyle so he faked his death but he's like still living in la and like he and like the main character keeps running into him the entire time and like this koi dude is just like you hate like i hate him i hate him the entire time <laughs> and like I look it up, and of, co of course it's Owen Wilson. <laughs> like, I mean, th that's just good casting. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's pretty good, man. Just the the guy that the guy that reads it, he's he does a really good job, and uh, and like just the where where the story's gone, and like like how like uh, Thomas Pynchon alludes to like the uh, to like the rumors and like how everything's connected. It's pretty cool uh thanos is in this movie <laughs> thanos uh old josh brolin he's he plays oh, yep. uh lieutenant christian bigfoot bajorson yeah bigfoot oh bigfoot yep. bigfoot it's weird it's weird seeing uh like the cast of these people and like putting like i don't really want to because i'm gonna put their like Oh, as you read it, yeah. All the names, yeah. I hate it's, that it's, shit. It's like growing up when uh, I remember in fourth grade they read Harry Potter to us, and, like we just kept pumping through book by book. And then when the movie started coming out, it's like I already, I already had like an idea of what I thought these people looked like. But like, yeah. but now, now looking back, it's like you can't. I can't remember what I thought they looked like in my head because now it's just like you associate it with the actual cast of the movies. Yeah, exactly, dude. No, but yeah, I'm about I'm about halfway through right now. I, it was it was pretty good. I just got done reading um, War of the Worlds by H. G. Wells. Nice. That was pretty Hell fucking. Yeah. That was good. That and uh, I read a book. What was the other book I read from him? Shit, I can't even remember the books I'm reading at this point. You are you doing them all uh, audio book, right? Uh, yeah, it's just easy. Like I like I'll get home and try to read and just end up falling asleep. It's well, just yeah, easier. well, especially because like you draw and shit. Because like drawing, I feel like is something you can do while also having a book read in your ear. Yeah, that and uh, and like while I'm working, it's just so easy to oh, yeah. pay attention to fucking. Oh, I read The Invisible Man. Nice. Hit that and the Invisible Man. I didn't think of that. Like, yeah, you have a you have a job where you can literally be listening to something for every single hour hours. that you're there. Yeah, it's, it's like, like I'll, I'll I'll be there for six hours, man, and finish an entire book while I'm there. So mm -hmm. it's just it's so nice. That's dope. Yeah. And the only the only thing you have to worry about with audiobooks is like you have to pay attention, and yeah. I'm pretty good with that shit. Like. What a... It's just listening to rap without the beat on it, you know. Essentially, <laughs> <laughs> and like, I was like, okay, Spoke, I'm down with this. Spoken word rap books. Spoken um, word rap books. That would be horrible. <laughs> what about what about your book? How, how what's the update on that one? I think every time we do these these podcasts, I'm gonna ask you what the update is. Um, my book is going well, man. I I'm I have like I'm about like. For, I well here's here's the deal. I finished my book. It's been done for like three years, like two or three years, and I've been editing it. Mm -hmm. But like I just got finished, like finished with like the f editing process, and realized like I wanted to add more. Mm -hmm. Like I wanted to add deep in it. I've been reading so much, and like, oh yeah, you told me about this after you read um, Infinite, Infinite Jest. Jest. You like opened yeah. up a brand new world for you of like I can expand on this and just ramble the way he does yeah because that's like it's not even rant like i wanted to write a sequel to the book mm -hmm. but then i i don't really like sequels or trilogies or like or, or just right. anything i just want one book and like infinite jest made me realize that i can put it all down in one fucking book like mm -hmm. i can i can just do that like <laughs> yeah that's the thing it's like with like movies and stuff you have like this designated like you know if you're just a standard comedy you want to be like hour and a half if you're like you know uh marvel whatever movie you're like two hours plus and it's like there's like this preconceived notion of how long it needs to be but for books it's like dude that thing could be 100 pages or it can be 900 pages there's no telling what it, <laughs> what it needs to be and like that's what like and that's it too is like when i first started writing it i kind of got into that idea of like how long the genre had to be but now like 
even reading like those books like i read uh i read don delilo's underworld recently and that's just like that mm-hmm. uh infinite jest and it's like i'm it's like i just realized like i don't have to stick to the fucking bullshit uh genre structures that they want you to stick to like nah. i can just write whatever i want man if anything like yeah books are like that one medium where it's like you literally have the freedom to just like do whatever you want with it yeah yeah, it's, it's going well though, man. I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's nice. uh, this is decent so far. I'm I'm gonna have to edit all of the new stuff I wrote, but yeah, <laughs> it's gonna take a while. It's, it's but... a never-ending process. You finish the writing, and then you go back and edit. And while you're editing, you think of something else that you want to add to it, and it just keeps going. And it's like, and like the worst part is, it's like you'll be you're living life, and yeah. like you'll be watching like the news or like what's going on in like current events. And like you'll want to add that into the story too, and so you're like oh, yeah. always finding things you want to add. And like at one point, you're just like, I need to put this in a, I need to put this in another book. Mm-hmm. Like I need to save this for another works because I can't just. I'm gonna be a fucking David Foster Wallace if I just put it all <laughs> into one thing, you know? Like damn. And it's like because you always want to keep it like as relevant as possible too. So it's like when when you release it, it's got like you know current events and like all that current shit on it. And it's almost the same way I think <laughs> of with uh with music. It's like if you are working on an album for like two years, lyrics that you work wrote two years ago can have references and lines to things that just are not relevant anymore. Like they make no sense, especially in rap, who you know are more like just like talking about that kind of stuff where. You wait and release it, you know, two years later, and it, it's just not. So you have to go back and edit the, all the, the lyrics and shit that you wrote to make sure it's, like, up to speed with what's going on now. With current events, yeah, exactly, man. Especially if, like, yeah. it's in between presidencies or something. Like, then it's just completely not relevant anymore. And that's the one thing. I started writing it in 2015, in the beginning of it, and then in 2016, like, that's the one thing I wanted to add was, like, I started getting into more of, like, like the political thing, and I wanted yeah. to kind of, like add little tiny bits like just to make it feel real you know Mm -hmm. like to make it feel kind of like it has like a sort of living breathing right like you know world to it in like in your mind do you have like a time frame of when you would like to be done with it uh now yeah (laughs) yeah right now well realistically then (laughs) um realist like i would like to be done with it like maybe by i'd like to have like a printed copy of like that i can read maybe like I don't know. By this summer, yes, <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, but we're, like we're doing it. We are, we are printing that book. We are gonna sell it on the website. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. I would. I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I probably will. Yeah, I'll probably print it out and read it. And and like, if you want to read the printed version, or you want me to send you an ebook, that mm-hmm. I can definitely do that. Yeah, I we'll definitely do it. But yeah, Rogar, I. I listen to audio like every night I'll listen to an audio book like a new like a new I I just signed up for audible so I've been listening to audible like I've just been uh getting the credits every month and yep I, I'm a podcast guy so I've listened to so many podcasts but it's like lately I've been thinking about like doing audio books instead and trying that dude they're so nice honestly yeah. it's just like I like I like podcasts too but there's like it's just there's a difference oh, yeah. i don't know i Huge can't really difference. get into i can't get into podcasts all the time where like mm-hmm. a story i can i can like obviously especially just because like i don't know i feel like with the way your job is and the way the fact that you can listen for hours and hours on end like to start your shift and just like start something and then knowing that you you dived into it like you've you've gotten six hours out of it rather than like you know six different podcasts which is like what are you really gaining from that as opposed to like I feel like I, even though I just worked and like I, this is my job and I made money, I also read a book, which is something I would do in my spare time. So it's like two birds, one stone. Yeah, exactly. That's, mm-hmm. that's how I felt, man. And like, it gets, it got to the point where I would be listening to the same fucking music every night, the yeah. same <laughs> songs. And I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this. Like, I love these, this music. I'm waiting for new shit to come out. But mm-hmm. until then, I'm just, I'll listen to fucking I'm just going to read books and listen to fucking audiobooks. Yo, speaking of new music, how about that new Tame Impala? Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> that dude just gets it, man. He knows how to make a pop song that's not a pop song. It's not, though. It's like it's like what Passion... I mean, I can't really say that because Passion Pit's at, uh, recent album is fucking insanely good, mm-hmm. but... 
Yeah, like, okay, Passion Pit, exactly. Like, stops being, like, controlled by a label and just decides to just, like, do whatever he wants and just release singles here and there and then just, like, throw it on and call it an album. And it's just, like, he just did that because he wanted to and, like, no restrictions and that was, like, one of the best Yeah, and it's insane. Yeah, it's, like, it's just just as... It's probably, like, on the creative side, just as good as Manners, dude. Like, that shit is so fucking... Like, and if he added more, like, lyrics to the whole, like... Because I know why he didn't because, like, it was, like a piece for something else but if those instrumentals had lyrics on them like mm-hmm. that album would be like oh that album is so good anyway man mm-hmm. no it is but that same that same that same impala song like that's what it reminds me of is like mm-hmm. his like his instrumentals have like the same feel as like the old passion pit to me yeah I, I just I want that album announcement and I, I knew this was coming too because Tame Impala or Saturday Night Live announced that Tame Impala was going to be doing the uh, going to be doing the show next Saturday so I was like all right they're not going to play old songs they're clearly going to play two new songs we've gotten one so far I assume maybe we're going to get one next week also and those are the two that they're going to play but I want that you think they'll release it before the show or after um I don't know. And that's the, that's the thing too with the with the way they are they could just drop the album out of nowhere too next Friday like nobody knows. Yeah, do that for us, bro. Please. I've been listening to Currents way too long. Okay. Way too long. That song's so good, man. I, I can't I can't get over it. I was listening to Currents when I moved into the apartment that I currently live at, and I've lived here for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, Currents came out in 2015, bro. There's another 2015 reference. Oh my god. <laughs> It came out in 2015, but I didn't really listen to it because I was like, 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 too happy with my existence at the time. But then, like, then something happened, and like, I was able to listen to it like in the right mindset, you know, and really love it. Um, just in the mindset he wanted you to be in to listen mm-hmm. to it. That just that moving forward mindset. Yeah, I mean that's that's like the chorus in this one, isn't it? Like. Just growing up in stages, living life in phases. Yeah, so good. So good, dude. Fuck me. People ask me all the time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so good. I can't. I can't get over it. Yeah. Anybody listening, go listen to Tame Impala's new song, Patience. Because Sadistic just came out. And he's coming out with a new album. He came out with a couple new singles. They're not nice. too bad. You know who's not coming out with an album? Fucking Kendrick Gus. Lamar. No, fucking Gus Dapperton, dude. Like, why doesn't he put out albums? <laughs> I know. I it's it's probably just that dude. That dude just wants to get a fucking following. Yeah, that's just that's the thing. Is like, he just he wants some festival dates. He wants some, some features, and he just wants to get his name out there. And then as soon as it is, like, then he can be like, all right, now I can take the time and yeah, take the time and actually fucking make an album when I when I have a sort of fan base. Because yeah, I mean, he's consistent. That dude's like EP this week, and then like two months later, here's a single. Two months later, here's another single. Two months later, here's another EP. Like <laughs> that. That's what I heard is like um, he's doing that because like uh, what's the one song he released before the single? Was it uh, mm. the one he had that video too? It was like um, fuck. I can't even think about it. It's probably got a funky ass name like all of his other singles do. Yeah, but it was like he spent a year writing just that song. Oh, my favorite fish. My yeah. 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 That one or wait, what is what happened here? So if you go if you go to Gus Dabberton's uh Apple Music profile, you know the EP he had yellow and such? Yeah. It just says canceled in capital letters in front of it. Now it says canceled dash yellow and such EP and none of the songs are playable. Really? It says, <laughs> it's playable on mine. Is it? Does it say canceled yeah. in front of it? No. What the fuck? What? Oh, wait, no, here. Okay. Maybe I have like an old, I think maybe he re uploaded it. Because I have like an old version of it, must be. Because there's no artwork and it just says canceled in front. I'm gonna screenshot this that's and send hilarious. it to you. That's hilarious. <laughs> but no, my uh, prune. You talk funny is the oh, one I'm yeah. thinking of. Yeah, yeah. He said he took him like a year just to write that song, so I can understand. I don't know. For some reason, I thought you were going. Uh, you were going more like rap oriented. That's why I said uh, Kendrick. Mm. No, apparently... I don't even know why I said Kendrick. Like why? 
Yeah, espe- es- especially as someone that's not putting out an album. Like, Kendrick's pretty consistent. Yeah, he I just put out yeah. an album, like, last year for fucking Black Panther. So. Yeah, I guarantee you we're going to get a new Kendrick album this year, though. Yeah. He's just the kind of artist that, like, he wants I to, do, like, he, keep his I mean, name out there, and he's not going to stay away for too long. Yeah, he's still riding off a of fucking damn and the fucking <clears throat> Black Panther album, though, so. Yeah. Uh, what other music could be? Out? Oh, that new national song. Dude, that's like my favorite national single I've heard in like years. Why can't I remember it? Um I don't, I don't know. I just love the I love the I'll pro- have to listen to it more. The production on it's nuts. I love it. I've listened to it. I just I don't know why I can't I can't like pull it to the yeah. forefront of my brain. <sighs> I wanna see the the film. That's oh, fucking shit, dope. yeah. This is a short film that goes along with it. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I am easy to find. That's it. Is the song? Yeah. Did they put the? Oh, they put the. Uh... Track listing. Yeah, I think yeah. I thought they probably still already had it on there. Yeah. You had yours. I don't even think I. I don't think I've listened to this one yet. No. I thought you did. I don't think Maybe so. you didn't. I think I. I think I had. I, I could have swore I had. Yeah. 16 tracks too god damn well okay good that makes sense there's a couple interludes in here it looks like like minute long songs that's that's what i like yeah they're not even showing me like the time times for them <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm excited for that i'm excited i'm i don't know music's so hard to keep up with it is. i'll just be like scrolling through and be like oh this person released a new song okay well that's why like so I feel, I feel like no matter whatever happens, I will always continue to like do the website in some capacity because I like looking things up on Friday to see what new releases come out. Like every Sunday, like making the little radar thing I do to see like what's coming out that week. Like that stuff I was just doing before I had the website anyways. Like I was just doing that in my spare time and making lists and having calendars yeah. and all this stuff anyways. So it's just like now I just like put it out to the public so you can just – not take the time to do the things that i do anyways yeah i'm like making a list of all the books i read so I'll fucking yeah put that up on the site it's probably a bunch of dumbass books <laughs> they're all dumb dumbass books they're all uh <laughs> what are those books for the the uh like the manuals that used people used to get like it's like in games like the no like uh you know like, like those the books the yellow books it was like um it was like oh for it was like the teaching for, for, for dummies. dummies yeah the dummies yeah. books yeah those are the only books i read <laughs> <laughs> and and you read them front to back and learn nothing it's like changing your carburetor even... for for dummies in case i don't fucking i don't even, I don't even have a car <laughs> i just I, I listen to about audio book <laughs> uh, so what about uh what do you think sony is going to announce on monday um make your predictions now and we'll go back and see if we were right i think i I feel like we have to get the dreams date because they said spring it's officially spring and like you want to start hyping up like a date now i hope they just release it on us bro oh just like surprise release it yeah why not available now fuck them oh what did i read oh i know i know something for sure that's gonna be in it what's that um you know how xbox has ea access yeah, where like you you know you can play like the games a week early and you get all the free demos and you get all the free ex- or games for only five dollars a month. Apparently, it's coming to PlayStation because some in like Brazil or some other like place, um, it showed up on somebody's uh, PlayStation store like briefly. It said like sign up for EA Access available now and like they went went and clicked on it and then it disappeared and went away. Like it was like a glitch in the system where it accidentally got added too soon. But Ooh, it seems like it's this- coming okay okay which like that. i'm down for because like even a game like anthem it was like it came out on ea access a week early because it was an ea game and it was only five bucks a month so it's like if you wanted to play it a week early you just pay the five dollars for the first month play it and then just get rid of it afterward yeah so it's pretty cool so you know you talked me into watching this show on netflix I watched all of it, and then we never talked about it. Oh, that's so. on, that's on my list. That's on my list. Yeah, like, what, what did you? 
Oh, we're gonna get to it. Yeah, okay, yeah, you yeah. actually you're following a list. I'm not. Yeah, not really. I, I basically just made bullet points of all the things that I wanted to to bring up and just slowly okay. get into it. There's like okay, no well, notes or other or anything. It's literally just like uh, Apex Legends books. Uh, Gus Dapperton, Tame Impala. <laughs> it just says it like that. Um, but no, PlayStation. Uh, what do you think? Oh, we're still on that topic. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Um, I think well, I we're know. we're gonna get like the final push for Days Gone. Obviously, like they're gonna want to finally be like, here's what the game is. Here's more gameplay. It comes out in less than a month, and this is their last like final push for it. I think we'll get Dr- Dreams date. Um, Concrete Genie. That that's another game that they said was coming out in the spring. So I think we'll get a date for that. Also, the EA Access thing. But do you think? Would you think they're even gonna touch on either? Death Stranding, Last of Us Part Two, or Ghost of Tsushima. I hope they touch on Ghost of, Ghost of Tsushima. However, the fuck you say that shit. <laughs> Every everything I'm reading online says if you're gonna hear anything about either of those three games, that's the one you're probably not you're gonna hear the least about because. Well, fuck you guys then. <laughs> only because we've seen the least about it, so they think it's like the farthest away from coming out because we've seen the least of it. Like I could honestly. I don't understand where, like, they already showed Last of Us 2. It kind of, like, stole the show from any, anything anyway. So yeah. I could see him showing Last of Us 2. Like, who gives a fuck about Days Gone? Like, everybody yeah. knows Last of Us 2 is out. Like, mm-hmm. it, or it's out there, you know? Like, mm-hmm. I could see him showing. But you make a good point, though. Like, it's a, in a business standpoint. Like, yeah. I see him not. It's like they're both open-world zombie-ish games. And it's like we... We don't want to push the one that's better before the other one comes out. <laughs> yeah, but that's like I got to thinking like that's like what I would like the like I feel like it overshadows it anyway, no matter yeah. what. Like you people, know? it's already in the back of everyone's mind. Like going into Days Gone, like people that planned on getting it are still going to as just like something to pass the time until Last of Us Two comes out. Yeah. Like I could, I I hoped we see Death Stranding. Honestly, oh I hope we see Death Stranding so much. That's I, the I one, hope that that's the one I'm interested the most in because nobody knows what the hell it is, and I just like, I just want to know what I'm doing in the game. <laughs> yeah, and just what I've heard about it, I'd I'd like to I'd like to see a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah, but other than that, I I don't know, man. I don't I don't know. It is crazy though. I can't believe that like they're they're picking up like exactly where what Nintendo does, you know. Yeah, well, I I kind of it's just a great idea. Nintendo what Nintendo did is just like I think everybody's follows in Nintendo's fucking mm-hmm. footsteps anyway when it comes to this shit. And it's just such a good way to like you can own the moment. You know what I mean? Like the conversation is like there's nothing else going on in games right now. There's no E3 like PAX is still a week away and it's like you can you can just kind of have the light shine on you for just a couple of days and just like everyone's talking about Sony where it's like when you do like an E3 conference or something like it's in the midst of everybody else's E3 conference so everyone's talking about every game that was announced not just about yours yeah you like you're is like and if you're Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo like you can do that like you're mm-hmm. so big to the point where you don't need E3 to back like as a backing anymore yeah you don't and, need that. And, like, it, it it benefits all of us because it's, like, we don't have to wait for E3 every year to get all the big announcements. Now it's, like, every month you're going to get, like, an Xbox or a PlayStation or a Nintendo or, uh, like, Direct or whatever they want to call it individually. And it's, like, we're going to constantly get info about all these games. And it's just, like, it's not going to stop. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's uh, – I, I definitely like it. Mm-hmm. I definitely agree with it. So, love Death and Robots. I thought it was pretty good, man. I thought it was really good. Yeah. I thought it was uh pretty fantastic. It kind of got a little stale near the end. Yeah. And you just like so, you know some something? of the some of the the episodes like I'm not even gonna say it got stale near the end, but some of the episodes were just a little like like just like eh, you know. Do you think that there was too much nudity, like just like unnecessary nudity? <laughs> um like like where it just didn't unnecessary yes but like i can't really i can't really i can't really flag anybody for that shit man like it's just like i understand why they were doing it but at the same time like me 
like that's just a bias i have like i'd yeah. rather not you know like, like, i'd rather not because like i see seeing that seeing the like the third ep the third episode where that the witness where that girl's getting chased by that dude mm -hmm. the entire time like like she didn't have to be naked throughout the, the half of it and exactly still would have the same you know like it's, stuff like that it seemed like he was just pushing so hard for that like tvma rating and like he just wanted it to be like this adult ass show and like the only way to do that is to show adult ass things swearing and having nudity are the two things that are going to be like oh this is not for kids this is very much for adults and he just wanted to drive that home so he just made cgi titties as much as he could that's like and that's the one thing is like if you want to make a animation for, like directed towards uh adults you put nudity in it that's the biggest thing like that's the one that's the one thing i can see like like i don't know because if you just put swearing and violence in it that's just a fucking anime at that yeah, point exactly like okay, like okay it is cool though like i i i definitely love like the 10 to 15 minute like format for a series like that like i love the short aspect of it. the same thing did you ever watch uh end of the fucking world on netflix no well, that was the same thing it's like every episode was about 15 minutes long it wasn't like a full half hour it was just like short stories and it it, it works so well especially for uh -huh. like the short attention span yeah they were good though man they the the animations were awesome yeah. and some of them some of them are really really good mm -hmm. but uh yeah like i don't know i some some of the stories are really uh really really actually had a, a lasting impression but yeah other ones are just kind of like eh, yeah. eh. it's like, like taking... that one like uh, what was that one with um with the actor from uh the actor from orange is the new black mm that was the most boring episode i've ever watched yeah ever and that's the thing it's just that's what, why it works so well in this format too it's because like if you're not into one and you just don't like it it's like all right it'll be over in 10 minutes like yeah <laughs> it's like it's not like it's like a uh black mirror episode where it's like oh i'm still if i want to watch this episode i still have to sit through it for 50 minutes yeah Which, but that's like that was it was a good they did a really good job of making it seem like you were watching an entire episode right. of something in 15 minutes. You know what I mean? It's like any uh, cartoon we watched growing up. It was always a half an hour show, but split up between two episodes. Like Rugrats were always two episodes. So it's like that 10 to 15 minute format has like, it's been around for a while, but you just hadn't seen it in so long. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not bad. It's not, it wasn't, wasn't bad at all. Yeah. Speaking of Black Mirror though, I'm so excited for uh, Jordan Peele's Twilight Zone. Is it like Jordan Peele's Twilight? Like why do we? Why does he have to call him put his name? In no, it's not. I'm. I, I just called it that. He's just oh, the okay. guy directing and hosting the show. But it's just. I called, thought it was like no. <laughs> I thought he put his like he put his name in front of us. I thought he put his name in front of that too. I was like, why does he yeah. got to put his name yeah. in front of everything? Well, was no, he Alfred Hitchcock it, now? It's the, it's the same thing with uh, us though. Like he didn't do that. Everyone just like I think because like us is such a short like title of something that like you might not know what you're talking about because like even when i've i was like texting people about it because i watched it yesterday and even as, as i was telling people i would call it myself jordan peele's us because if i just said us it'd be like what's us what are you talking about like um i'm talking about the movie dude, dude it's it was so fucking good was it did it have like did it have the same like uh like the same kind of like uh like social and uh and like current oh yeah like current so events and current, this, this, like philosophical not not a spoiler really but like everything but... about this movie has like multiple layers to it like i went out of that movie and instantly like opened my phone up and just like started researching everything i possibly could because like there are just metaphors upon metaphors in that movie and it's like every little thing you didn't pick up on like as you're watching it the first time like as you're reading about it more you start to realize oh that's what that was that's what that was like I can tell you right now, like, so the movie is called Us, and what I didn't realize was that, like, even the title itself is a double meaning because Us also stands for United States, U.S. Yeah, like, I hey, here, here's the deal. I found that stupid as fuck. <laughs> like, but, I, I, read, I read that, too, and I was just like, because, like, that's the, the thing I, I, I will say is, like, I was super excited for this movie, but mm -hmm. the more trailers I saw, the more less excited, like, the more my excitement kind of dwindled for mm -hmm. it. It just seemed like... 
it seemed like a normal fucking slasher movie. So yeah. I was hoping that it had more to it. Oh yeah. Like it, it actually had more. And so like I read that thing where it was like it was like Jordan Peele was like, you know, us could mean US too. I was like, fuck you, Jordan Peele. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's fuck it's you. definitely it's it's deep. It, it there's and the thing is like there's so many different ways you can interpret it too by the end. Like it doesn't have to just mean, oh, it's at it one hundred percent it was representing this. Like it means this. This is what he was trying to say. And it's not because just the way that the movie goes about without I don't know how to spoil anything, but just like it it could mean multiple things. And it's and it's oh, yeah. the, the the beginning of the movie um just sets up perfectly like it's funny it's it's got a good backstory there's flashbacks it's totally good the whole middle of the movie is like your very very well done like perfect horror movie that's when like you know the actual scares and the killing and all that stuff goes on and then the end is you know it's obviously you know just like any other movie it's got three acts and then the third act is just like everything coming together and the explanation is when you start understanding things and then there's a twist and it's yeah it's it's wild but I bet you, I, I, I not, I don't want to say I bet I can guess the twist, but like I have the um, twist in my head. So here's the deal: I thought the same exact thing when I wa- when I was watching it. I called the twist within the first maybe 15 minutes. I knew exactly what was coming. And what I was reading online is just like there's a reason why it was so obvious, and it's because like he wanted you to guess it. Like the basically the the twist at the end wasn't supposed to be a twist. It's more of like here's the confirmation of what you were thinking the entire time. Yeah, like, like it's pretty much yeah, okay. And it's like, like so, I know, I know what, what, like I kind of like understand why it was yeah. like, you know, like it was, it's like if it didn't, if it doesn't end that way, like the way I'm thinking, like there would be no fucking point for mm-hmm. the movie. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's, like, okay, it's wild. It's 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 super fun to watch too, and like he he has like a really really good way. I mean, with his comedy background, like he has such a good way of just like incorporating comedy into the horror too, where it's like you you're you're in a moment in the movie where it's like starting to swell up and you can tell like that scary part's about to come and then it's like comic relief. And it's like so and it's almost also scary because you never know which way it's going to go. You can tell a scene's getting tense and you're like, "All right, is he going to throw me for a loop here and like then the funny thing's going to happen or is this, this going to be the scare?" So like you're always on edge because you don't know what's going to come next. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. I was, I'm, in, I'm interested, man. I, I watched like I, I watched Get Out and I, uh, I, I really liked Get Out. But yeah. I was just hoping that this had kind of like the same, the same introspective value as that. Oh yeah, it does. I think, I think you'll really enjoy it. Hell yeah. That's just like I. The more though I watched the trailers, like I just thought it seemed like like just a hack and slash. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know it wasn't going to be, but I was just like. It didn't seem like man, I mean, get out get out seemed like this kind of the same way though, so yeah. It's just trailers kind of are are fucked. They're just yeah. misleading. <laughs> I mean if they do the same thing that uh uh Marvel's doing, so that right now with the end game trailer, like they've told people like, yeah, scenes you're seeing in that movie just are, are in the trailer are in the movie. Like we're doing that. Yeah, on purpose. Just, fuck you. Like, like it's just like don't, okay. We don't want to give away anything that happens in the movie, so here's a bunch of like B roll that didn't even make it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I respect that shit, man. <laughs> I mean might as well. Uh so how many grandmas did uh did Brie Larson punch in Captain Marvel? <laughs> how many? I want to know just the one. real number. Just okay, one grandma. Okay. I was hoping they were all grandmas. <laughs> I was hoping she was just like she went through like she just ran like after she beat up the grandma, she just runs down the subway <laughs> punching every person. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what I imagine that scene. That, that's how that scene. Pl- I never want to watch the movie because that's how the scene plays out in my head. <laughs> You just don't want to spoil it for yourself. Yeah, I don't want to spoil like the scene in my head of her just like she's just running as fast as she can and like holding out her fists on both sides, just punching everybody <laughs> sitting there. You know, like goes to specifically an old folks' home, just where there's only old people, <laughs> and just runs through runs through the cafeteria, just fucking pounding. Them. <laughs> no, she just pounds this. She pounds the old lady down on the train, but then she's not done. She just fucking. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. No, like she punches the one, and then like she looks at her fist and like has like this revelation of like, man, that felt good. Like that felt good. That felt good. <laughs> I love punching these old bitches. <laughs> where can I, where can I find more of them? Like, <laughs> oh man, 
goes I just to imagine like she goes if like I was a, a superhero that'd be the thing I, I would get on a subway and I would run down every car just punching everybody that's sitting there she runs to like she runs to like uh she goes to Ponderosa at four o'clock knowing that it's only going to be old people there <laughs> <laughs> so here they are <laughs> places old people would be one old folks home two ponderosa at four (laughs) o'clock it's just like it's like the the uh the entity like the fucking like the soul thing like it like could go into any body and it picked the old person it's like well i fucked this one up didn't i (laughs) (laughs) three dollar general (laughs) it's like like that fucking that's what i think about like when you were telling me about the uh like why it happened like the sh- like the shape shifters and everything yeah, yeah. i was just like it's like it goes into the old old lady's body and looks up there like well i fucked this one up didn't i <laughs> so, hey, you ain't gonna punch an old bitch would you <laughs> hell yeah well, that's my favorite person to punch <laughs> i just imagine like that's me in any situation i'm like like in a vi- in like an anxious part of a video game where like i'm like in apex i'm running around like i'm like trying to do something then i die it'd be like i was the shapeshifter and i'm like running around trying to find a body and i go into an old lady and i'm like oh well, i'm fucked <laughs> yo that would be such a good game though hell yeah it would you know what i mean t- like you'd have to like take over bodies and like yeah. fight each other even though it, i could yeah, i could even see it as like a battle royale game but like you had a bunch of npcs like in the game like people on a train just sitting there or whatever but like you could have one of your guys like an impacts you know each one has their certain like uh their certain skills and your skill would just be like shape-shifting and like you can just control it like sit there as somebody on a train trying to act like incognito <laughs> yeah that would be dope <laughs> We'll get to work on it in dreams. We'll make that game. Or if like, or if you're just all shapeshifters and you go down and you have to like take over bodies and you just fucking fight each <laughs> other with them. I gotta, I gotta figure out what my dreams game is gonna be. I don't know. I, I know I want to make like a winter ass game. I know that for sure. I don't know if I want to make it yep. Christmas and winter or just winter. <laughs> It's obviously going to be Christmas and winter. Oh, remember that game I talked about in that one podcast we did when you play as the Grinch and you have to sneak into people's houses and steal all their shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Grinch stole Christmas. Yeah, of course. Dude, it's such we a good idea, that, though. That game would be great. I remember we talked about it. We came up with that game. Like, actually, like, going down the chimney and, like, trying to be quiet and, like, you can see, like, a meter of someone, like, waking up and, like, oh, shit, you gotta, like, go and hide because they just woke up and, like, little Susie comes down the stairs and goes and gets a glass of milk and you have to hide the entire time. She goes back upstairs then you go back under the tree put the presents back in the bag yeah <laughs> he's like that'd be so fucking dope oh it'd be it's great like, or just having like a like a like a little free roam world of like the who town uh-huh. and like you could see like your like fucking place up on the hill and you have to go up there oh yeah and like even before christmas night like you're going down there just to like torment people and like you got to get like you're sneaking to people's houses just to get an idea and get like you have to unlock yeah, different dresses, parts of the map he dresses up yeah he dresses up to go down there and torment people in the beginning of the movie and like any other game, like you have to like unlock parts of the map. So like before you can go and like steal their Christmas that night, you have to sneak into their house beforehand and like see what it's about, like see where the chimney is, see where the presents are gonna go, and like get an idea of it. And that's how you unlock like the map of that house. And you can't you can't uh, steal Christmas until you unlock like the maps of everybody's house in Whoville. Fuck yeah, dude. Right, it's gonna be, be a dude. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, yeah. So. What else, what have you been watching? What have you been doing? What did you... Um I mean I was in Linux City last week, so like I didn't I couldn't do anything for like three days. Um Except gamble. Yeah. No, I I put in only forty like I literally went to the ATM and I was I was gonna take out twenty and I was just like, you know, maybe like I should just like go try a little bit more because the first twenty is not gonna work out for me. So I put in I took out forty instead of twenty. Walked over to one machine and like uh, another one of my coworkers was there too, and all she had on her was five dollars. So we both walked over to the same two machines. She put in her five, won fifty one dollars immediately, like first pull, like just nice. win, like wins fifty one dollars, and that was just like, oh my god, like she can win fifty one off of five. Like I'm gonna toss this forty in and make a hundred and fifty or something within maybe three minutes tops. It was just gone, <laughs> gone, <laughs> just gone. I I got nothing. Gone. The only thing I gamble with is my life. Gamble that life. (laughs) (laughs) I was holding on to the island for that one since the beginning of your story. I had to get it off. Oh, that's the only reason you asked me about it because you wanted to sit here setting me up. (laughs) No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't that well thought out of a bit. Trust me, I promise. Yeah. No. Other than that, I I mean, I watched us. Um, 
two weeks away. Uh, I want to go see Shazam. That looks real good. I'd like to go see that. It's the only, probably the only one of those superhero movies I'd like to go see, just because well, I like Shazam. That's uh, we should because my wife is actually out of town that weekend, so I'm gonna be doing nothing. So we should go see Shazam. Yeah, fuck yeah, hell yeah, man. They actually played. Will. They played it this weekend, like a two week uh, early screening at our theater. But I was watching Us this weekend, so I was just like, I'll just wait for it. Yeah. But yeah, it's getting like really good reviews. As far as like the DC movies go, they're saying like this is by far the best one. Yeah, I mean, it's not really hard. It's not really a hard beat. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, it's better than Batman v Superman. <laughs> yeah. No, no fucking way. No fucking way, dude. Oh, shit. You know what else we're gonna get this weekend? What's that? Uh, Borderlands Three reveal. You think so? Yeah, like they they've been pushing it hard. They oh, okay. That that it's like they're a hundred percent. Like, did you did you see that image that they posted with the exit three and the date on yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Like it's a hundred percent getting announced at PAX this weekend. I think it's like Friday or Thursday. Or, I think Thursday that we're gonna see it. What if everyone thinks it's like Borderlands three, but it's just a <laughs> it's just fucking it's just a random new game just called three. <laughs> no, it's literally called Exit Three. <laughs> like we told yeah, you, yeah. we told you it was we called Exit Three. Guys. It's right there in plain sight. It's not our fucking fault you didn't pay attention. Jesus, stop, stop asking us for Borderlands three. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, but I, I, I would, I, I'm interested to see what uh new since like every game took what borderlands was doing and like and implemented it into their games like i'd yeah. like to see what new features that uh that gearbox is working with and to like mm -hmm. make borderlands 3 like push it into that new genre you know and they've been working on it for so long too it's a it's the it's the what the first one on like the first actual one on the uh new yeah system. because uh they did the hansen jack collection but that was just like remastered yeah. shit right so yeah this is, yeah they've been working on this thing for a long time yeah so that's like i'd like to see like the new features that they have and what they what they're gonna add because mm -hmm. yeah, they're, well, they're the they're the innovators with that shit man and it's crazy like how much i didn't realize that i enjoyed like looter shooters like this because like for me with games like when it's just a single player game and i know that i have like all the time in the world to do it because i'm on my own time i'm not trying to like catch up with anybody it kind of falls to the wayside a lot of them do so like same thing with kingdom hearts like I've, I've put in you know a few hours of it and then after that it's just like anthem and then now division it's like those are the games i have to keep up because i want to be on the same rank as everyone i want to be able to do the end game stuff with everyone and i don't want to fall behind so i just keep at those where like kingdom hearts are a single player game it's like oh i can just get back to it when i do and then i just never do yeah so yeah, these it's... these looter shooters like benefit me because it like demands me to like no you need to put your time into you, this you need to keep leveling up so you can keep up yeah exactly man and it worked out man like i i beat anthem like i'm in the end game now so yeah yeah let's hope they just released their shit by uh they said it was march and like i said i called this one bro <laughs> i not... fucking called this it's, it's not over yet we got this we have this week yeah, this they haven't even like <laughs> announced anything for it. They're like, yeah. like here's your roadmap. Like we're gonna stick to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like they they had unfortunately had to spend so much time fixing their own mistakes in the game and like correcting like glitches in you know yeah, that kind of like stuff. Sh shit, they didn't get right yeah. the first time. It's yeah. like they had to spend so much extra time on that that they haven't gotten to like put as much time as they thought they were gonna have to put into like the actual events and updates and stuff. But well, I'm. I'm glad that they got that out of the way because that's yeah. like you know that they're gonna start pushing just to get everybody back playing it. They're gonna start oh, yeah. pushing that shit. And I'm excited. Like again, like at the at, at its core, <laughs> like that game is so good in its mechanics and the way they control and the combats and just like the world being as beautiful as it is. Like everything at its core in that game is amazing. So if you just like put out more stuff to do in that world, then I'm in. I'll play it. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'd, I'd be playing it all the time if there was more to do. Hell yeah. yeah. I think that's the one thing that, that Ubisoft and, uh, with Division got down. Oh, yeah. Is the fact that like, giving it people just all so much to do. That's so what you need to do. to do. 
so much to just like loot to randomly collect around the town so many different like events and activities to do and like the they they built that game with the end game in mind like they knew like when this game ends we want you to like feel like you just got a brand new game and it is because like that faction takes over and everyone's in like these high armored black suits with like robots and shit all over and it's like it becomes a whole different game and a much harder game but it's like you know, you've, you've got a 30-hour game on your hands already, and then after that, you've got, like, a whole new world right there waiting for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's nuts. Fucking awesome. Yeah. So what, so what I hope that, like, Anthem and everything does with their, like, world events and shit. Yep. It's, like, actually changes the world with it. Yeah. I mean, uh, dude, I keep going back to No Man's Sky, too. Like, I'm just so happy with how that game ended up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm actually stoked to hear about what they're uh, what they're gonna come out with with that. Let's hope. Ho- let's hope it's what we. Uh, it's what we think it's gonna be. My but... biggest question is gonna be like, okay, so if you're doing like, essentially an MMO without charging people and doing that whole part of it, but like, an online experience, I wonder how many people in the same world is possible. And, yeah, and it's gonna fall a lot into like whoever's on the same planet at the same time. Like, I get that, but it's like. I don't know. When as big as the universe is, how likely is it that you're even on a planet with 50 people? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's like that's the thing is it's it's just so massive that Mm -hmm. you're barely at the same spot as anybody else. Yeah, I I, I think I want to play that a little of that game today. I've been thinking about it a lot lately and I just want to kind of jump back into that world for a little bit. When is that release coming out? Mm, They just said summer. Oh, yeah. Okay. New info soon, but they just said it's coming in the summer, which is when. Oh, okay. Which is when. Uh, when are they like coming out to like release the information on it though? Uh, they didn't say. They just said we'll be over the next few weeks. We'll be letting out all the what what, what this update like entails. Okay. Okay. So. I, I'm I'm excited for that man. It was a, it was a fantastic game. Rogar and I got so much time out of it. Fucking, mm-hmm. we had so fun and and with all of us playing it, yeah. that was fun as hell. It just like just like the uh the issues with joining rooms and joining in different spots and yeah it was like a glorified co-op at that point and it was just dumb yeah but hopefully with the it was so I mean, good though to call love... something no man's sky online like putting online in the title it's like all right like you're you're committing to this what are they what are they calling it? It's like No Man's Sky Beyond. Beyond is the update title. Just in the same way like how we had No Man's Sky next last year. Yeah, next and then now it's Beyond. Yep. It's just No Man's Sky, Sean Murray, okay? <laughs> it's just the it's the No Man's Sky you promised us. Yeah. You can't call it Beyond. That would be the no that would be that would be like the the trailer that we saw and then beyond that. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't even gotten the trailer that we saw yet. <laughs> they should like, just they should have just called it No Man's Sky 1.0. Yeah, No Man's <laughs> Sky. <laughs> no Man's Sky colon the game you should have got. No Man's Sky except without that one fucking long neck dinosaur that was on the cover for a certain period of time. Yeah, <laughs> No Man's Sky. No dinosaur is gonna knock down any trees. Like they literally the 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 artwork used to have that dinosaur creature on it, and once they were like, oh, that's not really in the game, they just took it out. Yeah, and then it just yeah. wasn't in the cover anymore. <laughs> like, I just want to go hold of those guys and be like, hey, is there any way I can play that uh, that sweet video that you had up there for the longest time? Like, I want to play that. I want that game. I want that game, dude. Can I just play that walking around? And I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't care what. I don't care if it's two seconds long. Yeah. Whew. Oh. What's up, dude? What's up? Any yeah. Any other... Any other stuff before I go back in and start playing Apex forever? <laughs> no, I mean I think we, we we hit our hour mark too, so that was right around what we wanted to do. Yeah, Solid. yeah. yeah and do this every Sunday. Every Sunday, eight AM. It's only nine still and we got a whole podcast in and talked about a bunch of shit. Oh uh, yeah. I have to take more, we'll, take down some more notes on some shit. Oh yeah, we'll have a. There's literally there's an Apple event this week where they're going to talk about their streaming service. There's, um, a PlayStation event. There's the Xbox event. Um, and God knows there's going to be new songs and singles and all that. And so we'll have we'll have much to talk about next Sunday. Oh yeah, oh yeah, brother. And then the weekend after that, we'll go see Shazam, and we can give our full review of that movie on on uh, Good old Shazam. 
Shazam. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I, I I'm actually I like Shazam. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning. Gaster Two Soul. You just came in at the very, 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 very end of this podcast. <laughs> the but, very uh, end. But we record these every single Sunday uh, live, so <laughs> throw us that follow if you'd like, and uh, you can be here for the next one. And we'll probably stream some games throughout the week too. So we'll see you around. Actually, keeping the stream maybe. It's like keeping the stream up because you're not running a. Not running. You're not game. running any. Yeah, you're <laughs> not running computer's any video. Like, my computer's like, well, we can handle this. We can handle this. It's just audio. <laughs> just audio. We can handle it. Yeah. <clears throat> before We're we go, that. wait. Before you go, hit, hit us up. What do you yeah. got? What's up? What's up? I have something for you to do. I'm intrigued and afraid. Oh boy. <laughs> You are just determining how this is going to end. New follower. Appreciate that. Say Alpha Q three times fast. Alpha Q, Alpha Q, Alpha Q. Alpha Q. I get it. I get it. Ah, uh, fuck like Alpha you. <laughs> I got you. I can just, I can just say I'll fuck you, do you? <laughs> Touche. And uh, we'll see you next time, Gaster. I've, I've never heard that one, though. Me That's either. a good yeah. one. Yeah. Props to you. But you're Alpha gonna, Q. You're not going to get me with that shit again, okay? I see it. I see it. I, I get it now. <laughs> but if I could watch yourself in this chat. Watch yourself. <laughs> Go get me a chicken sandwich. <laughs> and some waffle fries. Or some Dr. Pepper for free. <laughs> uh, thanks for listening, Gaster, Rogar, everyone else. Uh, we will see you next time. Uh...